The best or nothing. Four simple words. One uncompromising concept. This was the personal motto of Gottlieb Daimler, and it is the philosophy which guided Daimler Benz then and which guides us now. This constant striving to improve our automobiles, the effort to push out the frontiers of excellence, is what differentiates Mercedes Benz. It's the key to a price value relationship which is unique in the industry. Unfortunately, many automobile manufacturers are trapped in what we call the commodity syndrome. They sell cars that, for the most part, are nearly identical to those of their competitors. It's a little like selling soap. One product is just about as good as another. There is simply no significant product differentiation. Just the opposite is true with Mercedes-Benz. We work very hard to differentiate our automobiles and to build the kind of value into our products that justifies the price. The key to that value lies in Mercedes-Benz engineering. This is where we truly differentiate ourselves from most other manufacturers. To help you begin to appreciate this difference, we're going to provide you with a basic overview of the Mercedes-Benz engineering philosophy as it relates to aerodynamics, body structure, suspension, the interior design, safety, and the power plants. In designing a Mercedes-Benz, form always follows function. When changes are made in Mercedes-Benz styling, it's because an engineering function has dictated the change. A specific case in point can be found in engineering aerodynamics. In most of today's advertising, manufacturers relate aerodynamics to fuel efficiency. And certainly this is a benefit of improved aerodynamic design. While we're concerned with fuel efficiency, we're also concerned with the impact aerodynamic achievements have on general safety, handling, stability, visibility, and noise. Let me show you several examples of what I mean. The contours on the side of the car may appear to be no more than a styling decision. Quite the contrary. It's a functional decision. The reason is that by carefully shaping the side contours of the car, the engineers have significantly reduced the effects of side winds that can jar a fast-moving automobile to one side or the other. Another example. All Mercedes-Benz automobiles use airflow management to increase the downforce on the front axle, countering the front end's tendency to lift as the speed increases. This results in increased stability at higher speeds. These are just two of the aerodynamic benefits incorporated into the design of the automobile. There are many more. The main thing to understand is that in our engineering philosophy, the function is what determines the form. To put it another way, the look of a Mercedes-Benz is not just the creation of a clever stylist, but the sum total of hundreds of engineering design decisions. Another component of Mercedes-Benz engineering philosophy is reflected in the body structure. Here the design criteria calls for a rigid passenger shell to protect the occupants in the event of an accident. At the same time, it has to be light enough to contribute to overall fuel efficiency. We pioneered what is known as the monocoque body. This is a single structural unit that offers exceptional rigidity. Virtually every major manufacturer has followed our lead in this area. However, in striving for the best body, 
We may use up to six types of metals, including a new high-strength, low-alloy steel that is significantly stronger than conventional sheet metal. The result is greater structural strength, less weight, and more corrosion resistance. What the customer sees, of course, is the extraordinary fit and finish of the automobile. The philosophy here is simple. We combine the latest technological advances with the dedication of expert craftsmen to produce automobiles of unparalleled quality. In other words, we let the robots do what they do best, the tedious, repetitive jobs that call for day in and day out exacting consistency, and we let the skilled workers concentrate on the demanding, time-consuming, fine finishing that is a hallmark of all our automobiles. The engineering philosophy that governs our suspension systems is one that at first seems contradictory. We want all our automobiles to have the agility and nimbleness of the single-purpose sports car. Yet with the smooth, comfortable, stable ride that is associated with the luxury sedan. The secret of the Mercedes-Benz dual personality lies primarily in the type of suspension employed by the engineers. Every model benefits from a fully independent suspension. The specific design may vary from model to model, but the results are the same. The main advantage of a fully independent suspension is the ability to allow each wheel to react independently to every bump and dip without affecting any other wheel and without transferring the jolt to the body. Fully independent suspension also improves handling responsiveness by keeping the maximum possible tire surface on the road at all times. When one wheel is kicked up by a bump, the other three remain in firm contact with the road surface. Our five-link rear suspension design has the ability to move the rear wheels through a controlled, predictable pattern so that bumps or lateral forces create minimal impact on steering control. You can read more about this and the other suspension systems in your product information manual. When it comes to the interior of a Mercedes-Benz, the engineering philosophy is guided by safety which we'll talk about in detail in a moment, and by the science of ergonomics. Ergonomics is the science of making man and machine more compatible. As you sit behind the wheel, you begin to understand how that translates to a Mercedes-Benz. All the controls fall easily to hand. You don't have to lean forward to turn on the radio or adjust the climate control. Everything is within easy reach. When it comes to the seats, you'll find them firmer than those in most cars. The reason simply is because a firm seat can provide more orthopedic support. This support helps minimize physical fatigue during long drives, which helps keep the driver more alert, and at the same time provides lumbar support for the millions of Americans with back problems. While the best or nothing is our philosophy. The passion for safety is our commitment. As you may know, the federal government began placing an emphasis on automotive safety in the late 60s. Mercedes-Benz, on the other hand, has been seriously studying ways of protecting the occupants of our automobiles since the 1930s. Today, our automobiles not only meet all the federal safety requirements, but in some cases, we exceed them. Basically, when we talk about safety, we refer to two types, active and passive. Active safety refers to those features and systems which gives the driver the ability to avoid accidents. Passive safety is the automobile's capacity for protecting the occupants. Let me give you several examples of each, starting with active safety. 
First, there's the steering and suspension systems, which permit the driver to make sharp, evasive maneuvers at high speeds without losing control of the automobile. This is not something you'd want to try in an ordinary car. Second, Mercedes-Benz offers the anti-lock braking system, generally referred to as ABS. This comes standard on all our automobiles, with the exception of the 190E 2.3 and 190D 2.5, where it is offered as an attractive option. Now, let me show you a film that explains the system and its benefits to your customers. This channel old bends. Thank you for attention. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel.